Today I'm going to cover six applications for iOS, that is the iPhone and the iPad, that use chroma key to edit out your backgrounds in a snap. Okay, as promised, I'm going to cover six applications for the iPad and the iPhone that use chroma key to edit out backgrounds. The first one you're looking at here is vScope. And this is the basic layout. You see a record button on the left hand side. That's the very last thing you do because the most important part of this app is setting up and getting your color key correct. So along the bottom, you see a settings icon here. This is a bunch of information here that guides you through the process, including a remote access so you can control your camera with another device. You also can add your own background. So you use this plus symbol to pull one from your camera roll or from an existing one that you already have. I'm now going to get rid of this little menu here and bring up this little magic wand tool. This will actually walk you through the process so you can get your lighting set up correctly. You can also do this manually by just selecting the color picker here. This little color picker slider will enable you to identify what the right color range is for your subject. In this case, I know I'm using a green screen, so right here in the middle seems appropriate. You then have this other adjustment slider. This enables you to go through and make finer adjustments so you can get the brightness and the clarity just right. You don't want to go too far to the right or too far to the left because you'll either distort the image background or your subject. Now I do not have a subject before me so I'm going to have to try and guess this or estimate this myself. I'm trying to choose sort of a middle ground here so I know that there's a nice balance between the background and myself. So I'm going to actually walk over to the camera here and if I did everything okay, then I should be coming in clear. If not, if I have any kind of transparency in my nose or face or hair, then I need to go back and make some adjustments. If you have a subject before you, this is a lot easier to do. And when you're ready, you click the record button and voila, you have a professional chroma key video. This is vScope for the iPhone and the iPad. Okay, the next app I wanna demonstrate is Chroma Vid, which is also for iOS, that is the iPhone and the iPad. And as you can see here, it comes with three different options, Chroma, Chroma Reverse, and Merge. I'm just gonna use the first basic option, which is Chroma. So I'm gonna select that and then select the arrow button. And it's gonna take me to another frame. And as you can see here, it gives me a clear image of my green screen, which seems pretty well lit because everything has been keyed out. And then I'm gonna use this icon in the bottom right and it's gonna prepare the camera for inserting that background image. And just like vScope, I'm going to walk in front of the camera to see how I appear. The background image is fairly good. And so when I come in, hopefully it's balanced enough so that I also come in fairly clearly and so that it, there isn't any color missing from my face or my hair. I'm assuming that I look okay. All I have to do now is click record. It's really that simple. And then you can save the final product to your camera roll. So that's ChromaVid. And before that, vScope, both apps enable you to use chroma key, but only when recording live. Okay, the next app that I wanna demonstrate is actually a video editor that includes a chroma key feature and it's called Perfect Video. So I'm gonna hit the plus symbol and start a new project. And now I'm gonna use the video icon down below to bring in a video. I'm gonna find a, an existing video that I made of myself for a previous project and just bring that one in for demo purposes. And you can see here, this is a video editor, so there's a lot at your disposal here. You can actually change the orientation, so I can actually make this a square video for Instagram if I wanted to do that, and click Done. I'm now going to tap on this video to bring up a different menu of options. In doing so, you see there are lots of options to choose from. One is Chroma Key. So you select Chroma Key, and then you select the eyedropper icon. The eyedropper icon will then enable you to then pick out a color in the background. So I'm just gonna go ahead and just tap in the background, and you can see here, it just, it takes out the bulk of that green color here. Click Done. And now I'm gonna go ahead and hit the check mark. I need to make some adjustments because I wanna make myself a little larger here. So I'm gonna hit the crop icon, and then use my fingers and make the necessary adjustments so I can position myself so I look better within the frame. Hit the check symbol once again. There you go, it's that simple. That is perfect video. Now I wanna share with you another video editor and it's called Movie Spirit. I'm gonna hit the plus symbol to start a new project. Hit create, select one one to customize my aspect ratio. I'm gonna go ahead and bring in a video. I'm actually gonna choose that same video that I used before of myself. I'm gonna bring that into the project. And as you can see here, it is a rectangular video. It doesn't quite fit with the square format that I just set up for myself. So I'm gonna go into this editor and make some adjustments. I'm gonna use the resize button here 
to resize my image so that I fit better within the frame of my new 1-1 aspect ratio video here. And now I'm ready to bring in a background image. So I'm going to hit that plus symbol once again, and instead of bringing in a video, I'm going to bring in a photo. And I'm going to hit the resize button once again, and I'm going to use the slider to, re to enlarge it so that it covers the entire image. Now I'm ready to do my chroma key. So I'm going to now scroll over and select this chroma key icon right here, which is the little silhouette of a person with a transparent background there. Now I'm going to go ahead and hit the green color, and it's going to take out that background, but not completely. You can see that the green color was removed, but it's not quite transparent yet. So I'm going to use the color range slider here on the bottom and just gradually slide this over until that background image becomes transparent, but not so much so that it starts to take the color away from my face. Okay, that looks pretty good. I'm going to click done, hit the check mark, and I can go ahead and play that back. And now I have a customized video that's been edited using the chroma key feature. This app is called Movie Spirit. And now I want to demonstrate another video editor that's called KineMaster. I'm going to hit the plus symbol to start a new project. And I'm now going to go begin by bringing in a background image for my video project. And now I'm going to go ahead and do a recording. This app is unique in that you can actually record right inside your project. So what I'm going to do is select the center record button here and then quickly run over in front of the camera and record a quick video of myself. Hi, my name is Tim, and I'm doing this for demo purposes to show how KineMaster can use Chroma Key to edit out the background. It's now asking me to add as a layer. So I will add as a layer, and it inserts it right on top of my video. I'm going to go ahead here and make a little adjustment here by enlarging it so that it fills the screen. And now I'm going to select my green screen video, and I'm going to select the Chroma Key option. And I'm now going to use the color picker here to pre-select my color here. So I'm going to hit enable and I'm going to select the color picker and I'm going to select one of the shades of green here and then click done. I'm actually going to go ahead and make some final adjustments here. Actually the background isn't completely transparent so I'm going to use my slider to make just a little few adjustments there so that my background is a little clearer. Here we go. It looked pretty good. So that is KineMaster. It's an advanced video editor. It does come with a subscription price, but it has some pretty cool features and I think you will enjoy it. I want to review two more video editors before I end this episode. The next editor is called Video Leap. It's another subscription model, but it really is a very well designed app and does chroma key really well. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the plus symbol to start a new project. And I'm actually just going to bring in a background image. And I'm going to go ahead and tap on the image and then resize it so that it fills the entire frame. And I'm going to go ahead and bring in another image. And you do that by selecting the mixer icon in the bottom left. And I'm going to go ahead and find one of those videos of myself that I'm going to bring in right on top there. And as you can see, I can just automatically. And by selecting the chroma key, you can see it automatically takes out the background. There are little flecks in my shirt and my hair that need to be adjusted. So I'm going to hit the threshold option and I'm going to slide over so I can make adjustments there. Okay, that looks pretty good. Now let's go ahead and play that back. You want to swipe up from the bottom. And that is Video Leap for iOS. Okay, and the final video editor that I want to include in my review of Chroma Key apps is LumaFusion by Luma Touch. I'm going to hit the plus symbol in the bottom left corner and I'm going to create a new project in the 16:9 aspect ratio. And I'm going to go into my library and bring in some content. I'm going to start out by bringing in a photo from my library, drag it to my timeline like so. And now I'm going to go ahead and retrieve that video of myself and I'm going to drag that on top like so. I need to make some minor adjustments. I want to bring myself in a little closer, so I'm going to actually double tap on the video to bring up another menu of options. And here I can go in and just pinch and zoom and make any kind of necessary adjustments that I need to make. Okay, now I want to add my chroma key filter to this image. So I'm going to go over to the far bottom right here, and that's going to bring up a whole menu of other options. And on the top right to the far right are six different chroma key options. I'm going to choose the green screen key option and that's going to take out most of the image. Clearly I need to make some adjustments here and there are three different sliders for hue range, saturation range, and brightness range. I'm going to adjust the brightness range here which should pretty much fix this problem here. 
I'm going to maybe bring in some of the saturation range just a little bit and I think that pretty much fixes it. Go ahead and hit the play button. And perfect. And that is Luma Fusion by Luma Touch. Uh, if you want to learn more about Luma Touch, check out one of my previous episodes. So those are all of the apps for iOS that use Chroma Key. I started from the very simple to the very complex and tried to cover a whole panorama of different options. My name is Tim Brown. Thanks for tuning into this episode. Check me out next time.